Welcome back friends. Today's topic is strong and weak electrolyte. So first what is electrolyte? So electrolyte is a substance which either in molten state or in aqueous solution can conduct electricity. And as current is carried by ions, so electrolyte is either ionic or it furnish ions in its aqueous solution. For example, NaCl, you know, NaCl is an ionic compound. It has already ions, Na plus Cl negative. In solid state, it cannot conduct electricity because ions are fixed. But in molten state, ions are free to move. It gives Na plus and Cl negative ion. That's why NaCl is a good conductor of electricity in molten state. NaCl solid. When we melt it, we get Na plus and Cl negative ion. And that's why NaCl is a strong electrolyte because it dissociates completely. So, what is a strong electrolyte? The electrolyte which dissociate or ionize completely into its ions. For example, H HCl. When HCl is dissolved in water, it gives H3O plus and Cl negative. So HCl is also a strong electrolyte. In case of strong electrolytes, ionization is represented by a single arrow. Electrolyte which are dissociate completely into ions are known as strong electrolytes and which dissociate to certain extent, to some extent that is called weak electrolyte. Strength of an electrolyte is expressed in terms of degree of ionization. And degree of ionization is represented by alpha. It is equal to number of molecules of electrolyte which split into ions to the total number of molecules of the electrolyte. And for strong electrolytes, alpha is close to 1. Means all the molecules of the electrolyte dissociates into ions. But for weak electrolytes, alpha is very, very less than 1. For example, acetic acid. It is a weak acid. When dissolved in water, its ionization is represented like this. There is an equilibrium between unionized molecules and ionized molecules. There is an equilibrium. But NaCl when dissolved in water, it is represented like this. It is expressed by single arrow and it is represented by double headed arrow. And this is known as equilibrium. In weak electrolytes, unionized form and ionized form is in equilibrium. But in case of strong electrolytes, there is no equilibrium. It is in equilibrium only when we have a saturated solution of strong electrolytes. You know NaCl is solid in water. But if we keep on dissolving NaCl, our stage is reached when it is in equilibrium, then it is represented in terms of equilibrium. If solution is dilute, then weak acid, weak base, weak electrolyte is expressed in terms of equilibrium. 
but strong electric lights is expressed by single arrow weak acids weak bases and few salts are weak electrolytes and strong acids strong bases and most of the electrolytes are strong electrolytes